Hello, 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 hello. Happy Monday. How are you guys doing out there, Facebookers? Thanks for joining me. Um, thank you for joining me for today's Master Your Agency Tip of the Day. And I wanted to talk to you today specifically about top 10 tips for mastering the art of delegation. Here's what I found is most of the agency owners that I work with are stressed out. They're overwhelmed. They got a lot on their plate. They're trying to balance everything within the agency. And even though they already have, a, a lot of them have a team in place, they still feel as if they have to do everything within the agency. And so I've challenged my agency owners to learn and master the art of delegation. And so really quickly today, I want to share with you some of my top 10 tips all around how you can master the art of delegation. However, but first, let me introduce myself for those of you that are brand new to my page. Welcome, welcome. My name is Mernice Oliver. My clients affectionately know me as Coach Mo, Queen Quiet Storm. I am the calm in your business chaos. I am the president and CEO of Mernice Oliver Coaching and Consulting. We are a private coaching and consulting firm for women-owned agencies and women leaders within the insurance industry. Oh, and a few good men as well. So we absolutely work with men agencies as well um, and so just so we I know you're extremely busy you're probably trying to wrap up for the day I'm gonna jump right into this juicy content so stay tuned so the first tip in terms of mastering the art of delegation is you need to make sure that your team member understands the task I think we have often has it's just a breakdown in communication where your team member just doesn't understand what exactly is that you're requiring of them and so you want to make sure that you have an understanding that they understand what the outcome is and what you're requiring of them make them feel like they're part of the solution to whatever it is you're trying to achieve within your agency whether it's trying to hit a certain goal premium wise or you're trying to build a certain niche and become an expert in the field whatever that is if you are delegating tasks within the agency you want to make sure that you have clear communication regarding what the task is that's required and what the outcome is that you're expecting so that's number one make sure that your team members have a clear understanding number two be specific Specific. You want to be very specific in the guidelines that you're requiring your team members to follow. Oftentimes, I've found that a lot there's a lot of generalization going on within the agencies that I work with. In other words, you think that your team members know, you know, how we all do it. I'm guilty of it as well. I think I've explained it that way, but I haven't really drilled it down and be very specific. And so you want to make sure that you are absolutely specific in your requirements to that delegation, to that person that you're delegating um, that specific task to. You know, allow them to use their own initiative, you know, and maybe even create their own methods as long as they are achieving and reaching the same outcome that you desire. But we want to make sure that we are specific. So that's tip number two. Number three. Be sure that you have resources available to help them achieve the task, right? Whatever that is in form of training, maybe you need to hire, um, if, if training is not your strong suit and you need to hire a company such as Mernice Oliver Coaching and Consulting to help with that sales training or prospecting, or maybe they just need some different tools in terms of how to be able to manage a pipeline. How are they going to achieve those premium goals that you set for them? So make sure that they have the resources available to them to make sure that they can accomplish the task that you've given them. So that's step number three, make sure you have available resources. Courses. Step number four, reporting. You really want to make sure that you initiate a timeline for them to report back to you on their progress in achieving these goals, be it, you know, every couple of days or maybe you may want to make sure that you're meeting with them. A minimum is what I recommend, a minimum of once a week to ch do those check ins and make sure that they have what they need so that they can accomplish the goals that you've given them. So that's number four reporting. Number five, give the big picture. 
you know, whatever the overall goal is within the agency, you want to make sure that you're communicating that you want a positive outcome, but allow them to be able to use whatever methods there are that it's going to help them achieve that goal. As long as they're able to achieve the big picture, the overarching picture within your agency, allow them to do that and be resourceful in it. So that's number five, give the big picture. Number six, let it go. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, not you, myself. <laughs> you have to be willing to let go. I know the agency is your baby. It's your thing. You put your blood, your sweat, your tears, your resources, your income, your family time, all of this, you poured it into your business, into your agency. And it's difficult to let go. But let me help you save yourself a little bit of pain and stress and overwhelm. Once you delegate a task within your agency and you set up that framework for reporting, you need to let your team member or your staff member get on with it and you need to get out of the way. I'm going to say it again because that's so important. Let it go. Let them get on with the task that you've given to them and get out of the way because you're hindering the progress of what you desire to achieve within your agency. Remember, you are the CEO within the organization. And so you want to make sure that those tasks that you're delegating are not tasks that need to be completed with you or can be completed, should be completed by you, but tasks that can be completed by your staff members. So let it go. And then number seven, it's so very important. I'm going to say again, you got to let go again. <laughs> Once you give and delegate a task, find other tasks and other things within the agency to delegate to those team members so that you can concentrate on the results and not achieving the task, right? You don't need to be performing those tasks. You just need to be fo focusing on achieving the results. So that's number seven, let go again. <laughs> number eight, be available. Be available and approachable for help. I know it's frustrating. I know you're overwhelmed. I know you're tired, but you do not want to create a culture or an environment inside of your business or your agency where your staff members are afraid to come and ask you questions. So you want to make sure that you have that open door policy, that you're open, that you're approachable, and you don't want to um, have them feel that they're being too intrusive on your time. It is your job to make sure the agency is thriving and flourishing. And the way that we do that is that we involve our staff members. So that's number eight, be available. Number nine, encourage them to think for themselves, right? So very simple. Have a policy that, you know, before they can, you know, make final resolutions or final decisions on a task that they need to check in with you. Remember that timeline, they're checking in with you regularly, but avoid um, having them feel that they cannot make any decisions regarding the task that you've given them. Empower them to do that as long as what we're looking at that big picture that we're going to all achieve that same goal, the same results that we desire, encourage them to be able to think on their own. And then finally, number 10, be realistic. Be realistic in what your expectations are. Encourage them to be realistic on their timelines and what their skill sets are and not to overpromise because they may not be able to deliver. And that, again, creates chaos, overwhelm, and confusion within the agency. So that's number 10. Be realistic with your team members. Hey, guys, I know, I know there's a lot of stress going on here, but if you take these 10 little tips and master the art of delegation, I promise you will begin to calm that chaos that you're feeling in your agency and you're going to manage your team so much better. You're going to be happier and healthier inside of your agency. So thank you for joining me for mastering your agency tip of the day. You know, I want to extend my personal invitation to you again. We're going to have our insurance agency rockstar summit starting July 9th. Um, we're going to post the link in the comment box above me. Go ahead, sign up to attend. We're going to be Facebook live right here on my business page. And we're going to do a deep dive into this topic and several other topics that are going to be relevant to helping you master your own agency. I hope you can join us. Thank you again for joining me today. My name is Mernice Oliver. My clients affectionately know me as Coach Mo, Queen Quiet Storm. I am the calm in your business chaos, and I look forward to helping you master your agency.
talk to you soon. Take care.